we present MIPNET, Neural Normal to Anisotropic Roughness MIP Mapping. A standard technique for prefiltering SVBRDF textures consists in building a MIP map pyramid by averaging each map texels independently. This results in flat normal maps at high LODs, which fail to account for the roughness created by the distribution of normal at a finer scale. Subsequently, it leads to an inconsistency in the rendering of linearly mip-mapped SVBRDFs. On the left are shown close-up views of an interactive rendering of linearly mip-mapped maps and the ground truth computed using many samples per pixel. When the view distance increases, linear mip-mapping fails to preserve the correct highlight shown in the ground truth. Notice the oval shape of the final highlight. Anisotropic models provide a rich variety of highlight shapes and are well suited for this typical scenario. We use a tensor-based representation for learning anisotropic model map mapping, which avoids the use of classical anisotropic NDF parameters, which do not properly handle linear interpolation. To illustrate the need for the tensor-based approach, let's take the example of a 2x2 mean over these quantities. Averaging angles will create problematic orientations, especially when several angles are unstable and their statistics are almost isotropic. Note that angle-based representations are not unique to encode an ellipse since they are defined modulo pi. Now using tensors, encoded as a 2x2 two two symmetric matrix, the linear average of parameters robustly produces an ellipse which better captures orientation and shape. Contrary to angle-based representations that require handling modulo pi operations, our tensor-based approach admits simple bounds ensuring physical correctness of the roughness map and is therefore well suited for gradient-based optimizations. Our neural mip mapping pipeline works as follows. We use height, normal and roughness information to fit our tensor representation given as an input to the network. We first use a multilayer perceptron HA which acts as a 2x2 two two into 1x1 one one downsampling kernel and outputs a normal map and an isotropic tensor map. The metallic, base color and height are linearly downsampled and the bundle is used to produce the first level of detail provided for rendering under random light and view directions. The first cascade of networks leverages a second network HB which, along with HA, provides the downsampling operator for the second level of detail. HB takes as input 4x4, 2x2 and 1x1 texel blocks and produces a 1x1 output. It is composed of fully connected layers and has more capacity than HA due to its higher dimensional inputs. Finally, we repeat the cascade until we reach a desired depth and output a rendering for each LOD. On the other side, a full resolution ground truth is computed using the base maps and is used to compute the loss for each level of the cascade. Now we present results of interactive rendering using our neural mip mapping pipeline on two commonly used BRDF models, Cook Torrance with the GDX and Beckman NDF variants and the anisotropic Fong model of Ashikmin Shirley. Thank you.